Welcome back guys. Today we are going to discuss in this biochemistry module the vitamin B5 and B7. First we are going to discuss vitamin B5. This vitamin B5 is also known as pantothenic acid. So it's pantothenic acid. Has a ring structure. Has a ring structure. Ring is beta alanine. Beta alanine ring combined with D pantoic acid. Beta alanine combined with D pantoic acid. This is the ring structure of pantothenic acid beta alanine ring plus d pantoic acid i am going to see the coenzyme role the coenzyme role this pantothenic acid is from the word pantose pantose which means everywhere spantos words means everywhere spantothenic acid is from word pantos which means everywhere so the active form is present in coenzyme a it's short form coa we used to write this active form of this Pantothenic acid is present in the coenzyme A. This coenzyme A contains beta alanine. This coenzyme A contains beta alanine. Beta alanine is in the pantothenic acid which is present in this coenzyme A. So we need to see some examples. First example is Acetyl coenzyme A present in the TCA cycle. Very simple. Next one is succinyl coenzyme A, which is also present in the TCA cycle. Third one is HMG coenzyme A, it is involved in leucine catabolism modern leucine catabolism also as we know in cholesterol synthesis leucine catabolism cholesterol synthesis also in ketone bodies synthesis HMG CoA important involved in leucine catabolism cholesterol synthesis and ketone body metabolism ketone body synthesis next we are going to see is this pantothenic acid pantothenic acid is also in acyl carrier protein is also in acyl carrier protein that is in fatty acid synthesis complex in this fatty acid synthesis complex pantothenic acid is also in the acyl carrier protein this acyl compound is related with the fatty acid synthesis acyl carrier proteins in the fatty acid synthesis complex it's a multi enzyme complex we will discuss it in Rapid metabolism when we see the synthesis of the fatty acid. Next, we are going to see is deficiency, deficiency manifestation. So deficiency leads to remember it is named after our Indian scientist named Gopalan Gopalan's burning foot syndrome 
deficiency is named after Indian scientist Gopalan's burning food syndrome. The syndrome named after this Indian scientist is also known as our nutritional melalgia. Nutritional melalgia. Gopalan's burning food syndrome or nutrition melalgia. Then we have the sources. Sources of this written B5. We have seen this pantothenic acid is derived from the word pantos, which means everywhere. So, this pantothenic acid is widely distributed in plants and animals. It is present everywhere, so it is widely distributed in plants and animals. It is also synthesized by normal bacterial flora when normal bacterial flora in intestines synthesized by normal bacterial flora in intestines Some other sources are yeast liver egg also very good sources so widely distributed in plants and animals since there has been normal bacterial flora in intestine also yeast liver and egg are very good sources so student b5 is nothing much to discuss except this beta alanine ring very commonly asked question beta alanine ring is found in which vitamin pantothenic acid or vitamin b5 then this role of HMG coa in this three metabolic pathways then this deficiency gopalan's burning food syndrome is named after which indian scientist written b5 or nutrition melalgia and the sources is widely distributed in plants and animals next we are going to discuss is vitamin b7 See vitamin B7. This vitamin B7 is also called biotin or vitamin H. Biotin or vitamin H. So this it can be seen and discuss this biotin or vitamin H. It's also called biotin or vitamin H. So we first going to see the ring structure. The ring structure of B7. It has a imidazole ring. Imidazole ring structure combined with a uh, thiophin ring imidazole ring structure with a thiophin ring this is the ring structure of b7 imidazole combined with thiophin ring we are going to see the active form the active form is remember carboxy biocytin Carboxy biocytin. You can remember it's a bit awkward word. This B7 is biotin, so the active form is carboxy biocytin. It's biotin biocytin, you can remember from this. This active form carboxy biocytin is required in remember carboxylation reactions. Carboxylation reactions for example in propionyl coenzyme a carboxylase enzyme involved in carboxylation propionyl coenzyme a carboxylase next one is pyruvate carboxylase third one 
एस एसिटाइल कौन से में कार्बोक्सिलेस उपनेल को है कार्बोक्सिलेस पायरोवेट कौन से में कार्बोक्सिलेस एंड एसिटाइल सी है कार्बोक्सिलेस दिस आर बायोटेन डिपेंडेंट एक्स एंजाइम्स the fact about these three enzymes remember they require ATP ATP is required for this this is so these enzymes this belong to the class of ligases we want to see different classes of enzymes in the enzyme video discussion this belong to the class of ligase this carboxylase enzymes active form is carboxybiocytin this require ATP and belongs to class like ligase now we are going to see some biotin independent carboxylation reaction biotin independent carboxylation reaction we have seen this general carboxylase is involved in carboxylation reaction which requires biotin requires biotin we are going to see some exceptions but this biotin independent carboxylation reaction first one we are going to see is gamma carboxylation this gamma carboxylation is required for now remember in vitamin K this gamma carboxylation of there are several clotting factors such as factor 2, 7, 9, 10 protein C, protein S this gamma carboxylation is also a form of post-translational modification remember this gamma carboxylation is a form of post-translational modification after the proteins are formed by translation these proteins are need to be activated through this gamma carboxylation or post translational post translational modification for activation of vitamin K. Next is the malic enzyme. Third one we will see carbomyl phosphate synthetase one and two these two enzymes are very important in lipid metabolism so cps1 and 2 we are going to see a further detailed discussion in lipid metabolism now for now remember carbon phosphate synthetase 1 and 2 this word synthetase which means they require atp the fourth one is for purine synthesis Urine synthesis, we need some carboxylases. It is A I R carboxylase. A I R carboxylase. This carboxylase required in urine synthesis. These four carboxylases are biotin independent. Karma carboxylation, this malic enzyme, malic enzyme we have discussed before in vitamin B2 riboflavin. This carbamyl phosphate synthetase CPS1 and 2 and AR carboxylase in purine synthesis. These are biotin independent, biotin independent carboxylation reaction. So, now we're going to see some deficiency. Deficiency. symptoms include mental changes mental changes just depression hallucination depression hallucination the mental changes then there are scaling SIBO, RAIC and Erythromatous 
erythromatous rash around nose eyes and mouth scaling seborrheic and erythromatous rashes around nose eyes and mouth it's an important finding in b7 deficiency then there is an enzyme called biotdnase this biotdnase deficiency this releases biotin without any consumption or metabolism of biotin it releases biotin this deficiency biotinous deficiency which leads to this disease called Lehner's disease Lehner's disease next see this biotin can combine with biotin can combine with streptavidin 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 so let's see this four biotin molecules can combine with streptavidin streptavidin is from streptomyces avidini streptomyces avidini remember this name this avidini and further see what's its importance four biotin molecules combine with streptavidin from streptomyces avidini to form four moles of biotin this we need to remember and combine with the streptavidin to form four moles of biotin the streptavidin composed of biotin plus avidin this we need to remember streptavidin is composed of biotin and avidin so why this is important we are going to see this raw egg this raw egg contains this compound avidin see this streptomyces avidin -y. this raw egg contains, contains this compound avidin which has special affinity for b7 or biotin which is special affinity for b7 Savidin has special biotin affinity which reduces the availability of B7. As it has a special affinity for B7, it combines with it the Savidin and it reduces the availability of B7. So, this consumption of a raw egg is particularly dangerous. Like, I'm going to see a clinical condition. A young adult who is very fond of eating raw egg daily developed erythromatous rash around nose, eyes, and mouth. You have seen here the deficiency symptoms scaling, seborrheic, and erythromatous rash around nose, eyes, and mouth. This young person also develops erythromatous rash around the nose, eyes, and mouth. He is very fond of eating raw egg. This raw egg. Which enzyme activity is affected in this person? The enzyme activity affected is what? This B7. This avidin contains. This raw egg contains avidin, which is special affinity B7 or biotin. It reduces the availability of B7. It leads to erythromatous conditions around nose, eyes, and mouth. The last a simple point we are going to see the RDA. Required dietary allowance. This RDA is 30 to 40 micrograms per day. So, you must understand that the RDA required is 30 to 40 micrograms per day. This written B7. Sources of B7. The sources of B7 is 
so this is the normal bacterial flora of gut normal bacterial flora of gut and liver yeast peanut soybean milk egg yolk etc so normal bacterial flora of gut as you have also seen in b5 and liver yeast peanut serving milk egg yolk are also important sources most important is this raw egg avidin streptavidin biotidinase also deficiency manifestation is biotin independent carboxylase reaction and biotin dependent carboxylase reactions also in the b5 we have seen spantothenic acid is deficiency named after an indian scientist gopalan's burning foot syndrome it's widely distributed in plants and animals ward pantos presenting the coenzyme a distal coenzyme a in the tc cycle sectional coenzyme a and hng coenzyme a so these two vitamins doesn't cut, contain much information for discussion i discussed all the important points make sure to revise them guys thank you see in the next video good luck